Hello friends, Jeff here with another episode of Pack Geek, and the hack is back. What? Tracy oh. Hackler of Panini America. Tracy, you are the hobby marketing manager for Panini America. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is your favorite part about doing that job? Oh, man. Uh, there's so many good parts of it. Right. I really do, like, I never know each day going in what the day will hold. I'm sure. New cards that I get to see for the first time that nobody's seen yet. You or meet athletes. Athletes will be coming in to sign cards and... You know, it turns into an interview opportunity and communicating and, and building relationships with the collecting community is right, also right. a big part of my job and I really enjoy it. Have you ever left your desk to walk to the bathroom and run into like Tom Brady in the hallway or something like that? Not not Tom Brady, but <laughs> but other professional or former professional athletes. And okay. They'll, like they'll be next to you in the stall and you're like <laughs> You're not in accounting. Yeah, you've got to be at least seven foot over there. That's yeah. <laughs> I'm always looking over too. Oh. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man, it's so much fun. It really is. Like I say this all the time, and it sounds corny and cliche and trite, but, but it's a dream job. As a kid who grew up collecting cards with his brother in the late 70s, uh, the, the thought that I could one day make a living in this industry is still boggles my mind. I never once try to take it for granted. So. I, I believe that. In fact, I had the pleasure of meeting your mother <laughs> a few months back on a shoot, and you know what she said? She said that Tracy, when he was young, he always said his dream job was to be a sports writer. And, yeah. and here you are. Yeah, well, I used to, that's where I started, and journalism was my thing in, in college, and I was able to go be a sports writer, and then I was able to go be a sports card writer, and it's been a dream. So I'm gonna pinch myself, make sure I'm not dreaming, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Well, you're you're hugging some some cards there. What, what do we what do we, we have, have going on, Jeff? The recently released 2019-2020 Select Ooh. NBA Basketball. I'm so excited about these. This is, I mean, basketball products. Uh, every one of our basketball products this year has been absolutely scorching on fire. Uh, has something to do with some guy named Zion, I guess. Oh my gosh! You know what? Um, yeah, la last time, last time we talked on an episode, um, I, I was saying, man, I, you know, I just, I don't know. There's, there's all this hype behind Zion. Like, how is he ever going to live up to this? Well, the dude is balling out, He's and he is legit, out. and is looking like a world beater. He is, and John Morant is. I expected big things from him, as a lot of people probably did, rightfully so. Right. But he's exceeding expectations as well. So he's so good. There's just the. They're guys that just perform night in, night out, and th there's so many new eyeballs on basketball cards, um, really sports cards in general, but specifically basketball cards. And so anytime these guys get on the court and they're making uh, highlights, people flock to the hobby shops and the online breaks to get a piece of it. I mean, collectors, uh, new collectors are coming out of the woodwork and you know, old collectors that haven't collected for a long time are coming back just to try to score Zion cards. Like it, it's really, it's wild. And I, I know you, you probably don't want to show bias towards one player or the other, but do you think Zion could still win, win rookie of the year, even though he hasn't played I nearly think as many games as John? We've talked about this in the office a lot. Cause okay. John's one of our exclusive guys. Yeah, we yeah, love he's incredible. We have an exclusive autograph, uh, autograph trading card agreement with Zion. So we have, good relationships with both okay, of them. Okay, okay. And I saw something just today about how they should come out and award them co-rookies of the year. Interesting. Which would not disappoint me because no. I think Ja, I thought, had it in a vice grip. For sure. And then Zion starts playing every day and he's just, he's just phenomenal. Yes. So if yeah. they came out and said, now there's still a long way to go for the season, but if they keep, both of them keep it up, I think it might be a co-rookie of the year type situation. These guys, like what, what strikes me about both of them is how they are not at all intimidated by these seasoned players they're going up against. In particular, like Zion, he's, he's a big boy, but he's going up against like LeBron and yeah. AD uh, versus the Lakers. And he's going toe to toe with those guys. Like yeah. as if, yeah, I know who you are and I'm not concerned at all. Like it's yeah. wild. 
It's fun to watch. Like I've watched a lot of his games, and the two most recently with the Lakers that they had, and to watch him, it's almost like he's he's having fun. You know, <laughs> yeah, which, for sure. You don't always see that with rookie because they're so focused on making their mark. And You're not, right. Especially he has a lot to prove. You know, yeah, he's a lot going to live up, up against to. LeBron, and you can see that both of those guys are really relishing that moment and. and going up against each other and they're having fun and LeBron's been so respectful of him and and kind of offering guidance um, to Zion and yeah, yeah. Jaws been spectacular and one of my favorite moments of the season so far is when Memphis played New Orleans and John and Zion did the jersey swap. I oh, thought that was, what a great moment. I, I, I thought that was pretty poignant. So that is cool. Speaking of poignant, Jeff. Yeah, so, okay, so I want to ask you. Yes. I've never opened up Select. Okay. This is a first for me. I'm really excited about this. I see Select online all the time. Everybody talks about the Zebra Parallels. <laughs> yeah. what, so what's up with the Zebra Parallels? Ze so Select, like a lot of our other Optichrome-based products, like Prism, um, like Optic, the the one of the key factors of Select are the rainbow sure. array of possibilities. But two years ago, I think they we introduced the zebra stripe parallel, which is zebra stripes. Yeah, it's rare. Um, Are, but they aren't numbered. But they're, they're SP, not numbered. Right? But okay. you, they're they're as hard to find in downtown Dallas as like a zebra. So, <laughs> uh, but so that's a big part of this. Um, the die cut prisms are are, yep. are in this. The the RPAs um, and the the popularity and the allure of the rarest of the prisms still boggles my mind all these years later the people the greens and the golds and the the, the gold vinyls and oh yeah it's just it's a feeding frenzy it, it, it is a wild time especially to be a basketball basketball collector but to be a collector of sports cards in general it's just it's wild so Let's, let's get into you, these. You want to dive in? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. Got my scissors here. Uh, you're still just hammering those scissors, huh? <laughs> now it's just become my thing. I know, I like it. But they match the box, so that's yeah, a, these That's work. a good point. They are color coordinated with the that's box. That's I think this is this is meant to be. Yes, well, I think you're meant to be, Jeff, and I've said <laughs> that's that. That's for sure. I've said that for years. <laughs> um, and it's true. Okay, so how many how many packs in here? 12 packs, all right. 12 packs. Five so you're, cards per pack. You're gonna get uh, three auto or mem per box. Okay. I think you're gonna get nine, nine regular prisms and three number prisms. I believe is the. Okay. And then the another thing that differentiates Select from the other Optichrome based products is that it has a unique like three tier base set. Okay. So there's three 100 card base sets, each with a different design. And as you get to that third one, it's the scarcest of the three. Wish you luck, sir. Hey, likewise. Pull, pull some nice Zions pull in there. Pull some heat, as they say. Yeah. Paul's oh, there's Lonzo Ball. I got another impressive rookie. Where am I going here, Jeff? I'm going here. Oh, that, that one, yeah, yeah. So here's a Brandon Clark, John Morant's Sweet. teammate. Who's, yeah, yeah. Who's really enjoying a, a successful rookie season. That's the the purple die cut Man, these look good. out of 99. So that's really impressive. These are just beautiful cards. So that's the courtside base card. That's the the rarest of the three base card types. So I pulled a Nicholas Claxton is a, uh, this is the concourse prism, but okay. how cool is that oh, design? Oh, you got one of the multicolored prisms is... there. You're doing a, you're doing a fine job there. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. There's a select future Goga. Oh. Batadze. Oh, yes. I don't know if that's correct, I, but. I don't think it's. Uh, he's a funny dude. Ooh, he, that's, a, really? Yeah, he's. I like funny looking or funny? No, no, no. Fun, just he's, he's intentionally funny. Yeah. No, okay. he's funny. Like, I got to, <laughs> I talk with him brief. Oh, look at that. You like that guy? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's Zion. the concourse prism. That's the concourse. Zion. Multicolor. Sweet. Prism. This not numbered, is, right? Not numbered. <laughs> okay. What you be careful say? with that, Tracy. Oh, no, I, I won't uh -oh. hurt it. Premier level, so this is the second tier of the base. Whew! So there All you right, go. that's sexy. love that. Got Trey Young base. Oh, Ice Trey, huh? Ice Trey. Is that a relatively new nickname? He's. I, I, I've latched onto that too. I like. Oh, got okay. okay. Got some uh, what'd you ink. Get? Oh no, no, it's Joel Embiid. This is the premier level prism. Okay. Boy, that's cool looking. Oh, there's a 
Look, Jaw's so cool that even his base cards are cool. Oh, that is cool. There's a John Moran. He's just a cool guy, isn't he? The guy he? who's like, he's such a nice kid. So like soft-spoken and quiet, but really nice kid. Jarrett Culver, rookie. Uh, he, he's been playing well. Now, I love when this happens. This is kind of not exactly the same color, but the the team color prism. So Giannis. Yeah, green yeah the Bucks, prism, I love that. Or not, maybe that's lime green and a 75. You gotta flick it a little bit so you get the <laughs> the rainbow effect. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so, do you have a, a favorite product that's coming? You probably can't say. I know you're you're in no, no, an awkward be, position no, 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 to no, talk could, favorite products. No, I've got but my favorite. Colby sure. White or Kobe White, sorry. Kobe, he's another. Yeah, he is. Boy, he's been balling top, out. But that's, I know he's been balling out. That's guys like Kobe White or Brandon Clark or Jared. It's Colby. your guy. Oh, Admiral. The Admiral. Are I you still him. PCing Admiral? Yeah, I love Admiral. All He's, right. There's a Derrick Rose uh, mem card. Yeah, my favorite product on the basketball side, you're saying, or or just any product? In um, just in general. Man, I'm a sucker for playbook football. Really? Okay. I really like it because it's Romeo unique Lincoln. and it's got b booklets, a lot of booklets. Oh, so you like the booklet? I love the the prime memorabilia booklets. Very I'm a cool. Sucker for them. Yeah. And any like jumbo prime card. So when does some is something <laughs> qualified as prime? I know prime usually refers to like the coolest looking patches with like the most color. Yeah. Right? So so prime, for, it depends on what s school you subscribe to, but prime is any patch piece, right? Okay. In my opinion. Okay. So preferably it's multicolored because that's what that's what we all want. Oh, that's just one. Nice. Um, we all want At the multicolored. 199. Multicolored piece. Here's an ice tray prism that oh, is not, that's just a pro. I like that. Yeah, that's a, has like a kaleidoscope type effect on it. Um, so I think prime is any piece of like number, nameplate, letter, tag okay but where that might differ from some folks is some people demand that it's multiple colors multiple breaks and right right but, it's, but if you get a nice big patch of a jersey number that just happens to cut off the the stitching or whatever yeah i still happen to think that's prime but a lot of people wouldn't got it i know there's there's some uh there's some arguing online about what what's considered prime and whatnot but yes just like the wonderful hobby we we're talking about there's a little bit for everybody. Yes, absolutely. Marvin Bagley the third prism. Ooh, this is cool. It's another court side too, so that's like two court sides. So this is Grant Williams. Okay. Jersey. Grant Williams. Boston Celtics rook. Boy, the Celtics are pretty tough. Yeah, they are. All right, All right so my first die cut, this premier level prism. Chris Paul. I got the, a die cut red of the three point champion this year, Buddy Heald at the All Star weekend. Very nice. Kind of matches his old OU Sooner red. I like that. Pulled a Buddy Heald rookie out of an optic box. Ooh. Maybe earlier. That's nice. Yeah. Maybe you did. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. maybe. Huh. You seem really certain about I that. I know. <laughs> Okay, this is cool. So I pulled a tie-dye prism. The the player is almost, I, I don't want to say it doesn't matter, because okay. it does. That's, the wow, what a cool patch. So it's a game-worn jersey piece from Nerland's Noel when he played with the Mavericks. So I pulled the first auto, Jalen Noel. Jalen Noel. You know, he's got a crown in his uh, signature. At the top there, that's actually Is that what that is? That's a crown, really? When he has more space to, to accentuate it, you, you can really tell. That's cool. Um, there's another Giannis. You can never show enough Giannis. No. So that's one of the... Pulling some heat over there, my man. Yeah, well, there's a lot of heat to be had. Oh, there it bubble. is. Bubble. I just love all the colors in yeah, select. Yeah, I mean, it's really, when you start looking at all the different colors, the hues, it just really pops. Uh oh, Steph Curry. Oh, nice. Here's a white prism. Iggy Brez Brezdikas. 
Mm. Out of 149. Is that? Oh, that's nice. That is a concourse prism of Kyle Lowry. He's an Man, NBA champion, is, sir. That is a sweet looking parallel. I'm down to, uh, and a Tyler Hero base. Uh, again, another guy that we didn't I know, talk about. Yet. I know. The, the rookie class is so stacked. So when it people think it's, it's just Zion or it's just Ja, right, you've right. four or five yeah, other guys yeah. that are on fire. You'd be, you'd be happy to pull. I got a redemption here. Let's see if it's what it is. Select rookie jersey autograph. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Hold on. Whoa! Tyler, speaking, of, speaking of Tyler, Tyler Hero, Hero, did you ever, RPA? Did you ever know that you're Tyler Hero? Oh my God! <laughs> and everything I'd like to be. He's been a great signer too. He's that another, is awesome. That's a rookie jersey autographs card number fourteen. I thought for a minute that might be somebody else. Uh, I'll and take it. And I, was I will get take really that. Excited. Yeah, I will take that. And I was gonna take off running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Somebody get Tracy. <laughs> You were never going to see me again. <laughs> okay, RJ Barrett, another good again. rookie. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's so crazy. We failed to mention RJ Barrett, but it's definitely <laughs> noteworthy. There's big Anthony Davis, who's having quite a successful run with his new team. Is alongside his new teammates. Boy, they are going to be tough to beat. Yeah, they look really good, man. They look really good. I got one pack left. It's... Oh. Oh, was that orange? Oh, I always think it's Maybe. gold. Look, def Andrew Wiggins, that is out of 65. That's, that's orange pretty. die cut. That that's is really cool. good looking. N newest member of the Golden State Warriors there. Here's a Zion. That's right. Card number it. one in the courtside. What? Is this a, oh, concourse, sorry. That is good looking. So this is the, the base card, concourse, Zion, bingo. Um, I think you got the box I was supposed to open. I think I did. Um, and I don't really know what to say. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. There's another promising rookie out of New Orleans, Nikhil Alexander Walker. I did get all the ink though. Oh, did you, what'd you get? Yeah, Derek Jones uh, Jr. out oh. of 149. That's a you know what in he is, flight. Uh, he is a basketball player. He is the 2020 NBA Slam Dunk Champion. Oh, that was, okay, yeah, yeah. And that's an in-flight signatures card. Oh, a, how oh, cool is that? That's pretty cool. Oh, that's massive. Oh, look at the Steph Curry. Oh, nice. Oh, oh and behind him. Oh, look at that. Wait, is that a uh, different picture than yours had? It is. Is that a uh, uh, That might variation? be the premier level. I, I okay, think this was a good pack. So this is concourse. Okay, this the back is, the is a premier level. So that's the second toughest. And then Zion the Williamson, premier level, sweet. But it's rarer than the regular base, if that makes sense. That that does make sense. Okay, you want to open one of these? Can I? Yeah, yeah, do it. If I pull, Just make it good. Best, if I pull your best card, don't <laughs> don't hold it against you. You got a hot hand right now, man. I'm man, I'm telling you. Although I just had my best pack of the entire box that just was, now. Or I pulled you a tie dye, dude. Heck yeah, you did. Of Iggy. Sweet. Look at that. The tie dye is such a spectacular design and so pattern. Darius Basley is also a stud. Yep, he's had some moments this season too. This is out of 25, by the way. So I like that. The Iggy Bresdikas. That looks is what I'm special. Saying. Courtside. You look special. Con that's the that's the rarest one. Okay, that's that's why it looks special. So yep. courtside, Colin Sexton. So it's concourse, premier level courtside. Okay, concourse, premier level Just think courtside. about it and how good your seats are. Man, we did really well. That was fun, man. Thank you for, no, for thank coming you. by for an episode, thank you. man. It's my Always pleasure. a pleasure to see you. Uh, the hack is back, and I hope you'll come back again soon. Whenever you'll have me, you, you, need, to re you need to get the restraining order removed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we will see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out another episode. Make sure to subscribe to Pack Geek on YouTube. Also check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks. Pack Geek.